Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306, another video sponsored by JLC PCB. so let's do a uh, quick pre-roll ad. A word from this video sponsor. Got an idea for a circuit, widget, or device that you want to rapid prototype or sell? Check out JLC PCB. They offer their board manufacturing services starting at 2 bucks for 5 boards and only take a few days from start to finish. So make sure to check out JLC PCB. And once again, thanks for making this video possible. Now let's get on with the video. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, got some more PCBs in and I'm super excited for these. These, hopefully you can see exactly what it is. It's a word clock. And um, here I'll get a flashlight and show you the special feature I built in. Basically, the PCB is the mask, and I have um, holes cut out for w within the copper layer as well as the, uh, the solder mask layer so that it can allow light to shine through. And it's, it's actually a really good effect. I was surprised how well this worked. It was really tedious getting the sizes of all these and the positions all correct, but once I did, it's wow. Another method that I use, I never tried this before, is this is one board. But I routed out the area in between and I put little uh, holes, drill holes in between a little area so you can actually just snap these in half. And so, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So yeah, these pieces will just, like that. Wow, that was, this worked really well. I tried a number of different things on uh, these boards and I'm surprised at, by how well that came out. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the front is pretty much just a, a light mask. I'm going to have to 3D print like a grid to keep the light from bleeding in between the characters. There's an hour and a minute button for a, uh, a through hole tack switch that goes on the bottom board for uh, solder pads, through hole pads that aren't connected to anything. And their only purpose is so that you can solder wires after you're done uh, mounting everything, soldering everything. You can just solder them and um, they'll keep the boards parallel and together and you know, the, buttons will actually protrude through. And so yeah, that's the way I designed this. I'm gonna have to sand these down there a little bit rough. I'm gonna stab myself otherwise accidentally. And you can see the back just uses a uh, my venerable PIC 16F 887, which I love that chip. Um, a DS1302 RTC real-time clock. Um, I'm still waiting on the crystals for those. Um, I opted to go for a smaller crystal. And uh, yeah, just a handful of other parts. You can see by the pattern, uh, basically driving all these LEDs in a matrix. Um, so to scan, uh, you set all the row values and then you turn on each column and then it scans through uh, so quickly that your eyes see it as one image. Anyway, uh, this is going to take me a while to solder up. So, let's just...
Okay, so after all that soldering, all the LEDs are done. I uh, did the RTC. I don't have the uh, surface mount crystal, so I just stuck a regular um, cylindrical crystal on there. Just kind of flapping in the breeze, but I'll replace that once the correct size one uh, comes in the mail. Anyway, everything's all soldered, and I've ridden 90% of the uh, firmware. I want to do some extra animation modes and whatnot, but I'll give you guys a quick demo so far. And there is a uh, secret hidden in it, actually, that I probably won't tell you guys about. Um, but it's hidden in the software, and there's a way to access it. Anyway, uh, you turn it on, and you can see it is all lit. It looks a little flickery on camera, but um, in real life, it's on solid. The only w reason why it looks flickery on camera is the frame rate that this is running at is different than the record frame rate on my camera, so it looks kind of weird. It doesn't match up. It doesn't line up, so it looks a little flickery. Anyway, uh, you can see if I just stick it on top, um, the buttons will protrude, luckily, through the uh, holes in the front exactly as I planned, uh, but there's uh, too much uh, diffusion, basically, of the light. So you can see it's really difficult to read and characters that aren't supposed to be lit up are lit up. But um, yeah, uh, that's a general idea of what's what's uh, going to happen. But um, in order to prevent the, um, the light from scattering to adjacent uh, pixels, I 3D printed this nice shell that I designed with a uh, little base and 10 degree incline. And it, it would have been really nice, uh, but I kind of screwed a couple things up. I didn't leave enough room for the bottom of the board here, so I'm going to need to extend that. That'll be easy enough to do. Um, it looks like the vertical pitch uh, that I chose is perfect, more or less. Uh, but the horizontal, uh, you can see it starts to, to diverge. And by the end of it, they're not even in frame. Uh, so I'm going to actually have to decrease the pitch. I probably grabbed the wrong number from the, uh, the PCB layout when I uh, designed design this. This should be pretty easy to do. I just did this as a uh, matrix array. One thing that I didn't account for, though, is I'm not sure how that'll work. Some of these have different pitches. Some of them are wider, depending on if the letters are wider or not. Uh, so I'm hoping that that'll kind of work itself out. Additionally, I forgot to put holes uh, for the top points, uh, which is kind of actually pretty silly of me to have forgotten to do that. But yeah, you, you can see how it would have sat on here, the board on the back, and then the way it shines through, it'll backlight each of the characters. Um, so I'm going to have to modify this. I really wanted to get this all done by this weekend, uh, but I screwed up the design on this, and there's still one or two things in the software that I need to fix. Uh, but basically, here's the uh, regular time mode would say it is, let's see, it is 12 o'clock a.m., for instance. There's a p.m. indicator on this side as well. Uh, so if we switch into the other mode, if we press and hold both of these buttons, it'll go into time set mode. If we just press, I think it was the left button, it'll uh, change the brightness, and there are 10 modes of brightness between super bright and not super bright. But uh, yeah, here you can see. If I press uh, the left button, it'll go into an animation mode. And you can see here, it's this is a random animation. If I press the right button, it'll swap to this kind of uh, scanning animation. And I want to add one last animation, which is like a matrix style, where all the letters are falling kind of randomly. Um, and everything is saved in e, uh, EEPROM. So um, basically, whatever you leave it on, it'll uh, remember. And to go back, you just press the uh, first button, and then now it's back into time mode. Uh, brightness is also saved um, in EEPROM and whatnot, so if I just shut off, it'll remember. But yeah, anyway, hopefully by next week I'll have fixed um, the bracket as well as uh, added the extra software bits that I still need to fix. And hopefully that crystal comes in. But anyway... I think I made pretty good progress, and huge thanks to uh, JLCPCB. I'm surprised by just how clean this came out. Uh, the letters are, like, super tight. These are pretty small. Um, the entire thing can easily fit in my palm, and yet everything is perfectly legible, and the uh, the breakaway option that I uh, designed into the boards worked really well, a lot better than I thought it would. So, yeah, um, 
I was kind of hoping to have this available in kit form, um, just as a single PCB, you snap it, you solder all the parts, you know, you're good to go. Uh, because I haven't really seen any word clock kits um, directly available. I, I saw someone uh, design one around an 8x8 eight eight, uh, LED matrix, like a standard um, row column matrix that you can buy. Um, but I just thought this is kind of a neat idea in terms of the PCB is the front as well as the mask. And it just gives it a nice appearance and you just have two buttons coming out the front and that's it. And I haven't seen anyone um, like have it so that you can just solder uh, multiple PCBs like that with the front being the mask. Uh, anyway, I'm sure someone's done something like this before. I'm not that clever. But anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And um, by next time, I promise I'll have this done. Um, just got to tie up some loose ends. And I'll do a final, final demo video of um, how the final thing looks. So anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.